And maybe this is for very specific situations. And if it resonates with you, by all means, take it in. If this doesn't resonate with you, don't pay attention to it. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In case you're new here, I'm Kim. This is Core Union. And if you guys celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas for everyone else. Happy holidays. I just finished cleaning up after I cooked a delicious meal. My belly is full. I'm happy. Me and my babies, my chihuahuas, Felix and Bella are going to be cuddling on the sofa watching TV. As I was cleaning up, I was inspired to come on because I see all these messages coming through. I have some new clients, a lot of new subscribers, and a ton of love coming through for you guys who sent me messages just sending love. I'm receiving all that love and I'm sending it right back to you guys. So I want to talk a little bit about my perspective of what happens to us when we fall in love with that specific person. And I'm not talking about light crushes. I'm talking about when we've already had that deep soul connection for somebody. But there is something very significant from my perspective and very profound and powerful when it comes to that soul connection of, frankly, the love of your life when you meet that person. You are not separate from your person, the love of your life, your specific person, your other half, your fiance, your partner, your baby, your one and only, your heart's desire. You are not separate from them. They're not separate from you. Whenever you think about them and you can feel them strongly, they're thinking about you, they're feeling you too. It doesn't matter what appears to be happening in the 3D. All of that is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. And your attention and focus on whatever it is in the 3D is going to make whatever that is expand. So if you have your attention, energy on, and focus on physical separation, then you're going to continue to experience physical separation. But don't freak out and think, oh God, I've ruined everything. You can shift at any given time. And it's not like you always have to start off at square one. That's not how this works. That is linear thinking. That's thinking from the 3D perspective. That's thinking from this, this solid experience, which yes, the 3D reality, is it real? Of course, if, if you fall, are you gonna hurt yourself? Yes, if you cut yourself, you're gonna bleed. So don't do those things. <laughs> it just really is that whatever we're experiencing in our personal reality, which is solidified, it's already solid. It's already been created. You don't have control over that, but what you do have control over is what is going to come. What are the next things that are gonna become solidified in your reality? And those things will come about through your imagination and through your inner world. What your attention and focus and awareness is on will expand. And then you'll see that mirror through your physical experience. And when you have inner conversations in your imagination, which we all have been doing since we can probably remember, we're constantly thinking about different experiences that we are going to have that we haven't had yet with people. When we're leaving our house in the morning, when we're on our way to work, when we're in traffic, when we're in the middle of our work day at work, when we're getting ready to go home and go to the supermarket or go to the gym, constantly imagining what is about to happen, what's going to happen, what's gonna happen. This stuff hasn't happened yet. You've been affirming your entire life. Do you see how this works? So what you wanna start doing is become aware of what your inner conversations are. What are you imagining, okay? In so, terms of our specific person, if we want to be in a loving, healthy, strong, stable, soulful, passionate relationship with the person that we love, we want to make sure that we truly understand what this entire thing was showing us. And this is, again, from my perspective. So we have the one, God, universe, source, creator, your higher self, whatever you want to name it. We were then created as little, almost like mini me's, but we're extensions. So we're also within our reality, gods and goddesses. We are the creator, yes, but again, we're more like the selector because all creation is already done. All of these infinite realities exist. When you've got yourself to a place in life where you want to have a loving relationship and you've met this person, they are completely imprinted in the core of your being. 
And trust me, while you have that burning flame within you for them, which is them within you, you are also imprinted in their core and your flame is burning with them. You guys, there's literally no true separation. You guys are one. And when you meet somebody who you are meant to be with and you're brought to that feeling of love, you are brought closer to your creator because it is the highest form of love that there is. Meaning that the loving relationships that we have tap into so many layers of who we are and what we want in life. It's very nurturing. This person you count on, this person is the person that at night you want to be in their arms. You want them holding you. You want to hold them. You want to comfort them when they're hurting. So it's the deepest relationship that you'll have. It doesn't take away from other relationships, of course, but this particular relationship will hit us at the deepest layers of our being. So when we meet this person and we're brought home, that feeling is meant to be a motivator for us to become the best versions of who we are. And the only way to become the strongest, best version of who you are is to be able to release all of the things that are barriers and blocks preventing you from being able to have this union. And when you do, when you are in union with your other half, with your person, with your match, with your equal counterpart, with your divine counterpart, with the love of your life, you are going to be the closest that you'll ever be while you are in this physical form with your creator, with God, with universe, call it whatever you want. So there's a lot of substance to this. And as your fears get triggered, because for multiple reasons, there's not just one size fits all with this, you can have one or all of the following, the feeling that this person couldn't be for real. This, there's no possible way that love can feel this good. Something bad's going to happen. I don't trust this. You may be comparing them to past relationships that you had when you were hurt and wounded. When these fears rise up in us and we start to get friction in this relationship that was once like this perfect bubble love, right? Which you can have back and you will have back with them, by the way. It'll be even better because... When you guys are back through this period of supposed separation, while you guys were looking at your stuff and letting it go, when you guys get back together, you're going to be stronger and better than ever. And the relationship that you have is going to soar to whole new levels. So these fears rise up within you and then you start to see this behavior and then you don't catch it. And then before you know it, you're being triggered left and right and they're being triggered left and right. And then boom, something happens and there's some sort of a separation. And more than likely, you guys that are watching this channel, you might be the ones that are were left. Maybe you experienced this perception of them running. But I want to just bring up something for you to think about for a second. This person, while in the physical, yes, they may have been the runner. Technically speaking, their running was the physical personification of your fear. When you got that fear, your protector inside you went up. You may not have realized when this was happening, but something inside of you said, no, we're not going to let this happen to us. And then as your perfect mirror, what they did was mirror that fear of yours back to you. Okay. The runner wasn't actually running. The runner was reflecting your own fear, your own walls of protection that you put up around you because you got scared. And maybe this is for very specific situations and if it resonates with you, by all means take it in. If this doesn't resonate with you, don't pay attention to it. Make a decision that 
you realize and understand how you created this situation between you and the other person, understand what separation is and what the purpose of it is. It's just so you can see the reflection and make a decision to change. Let this person love you. This person is here to love you and adore you and cherish you. And this person wants to be let back in to love you, adore you, and cherish you. They want you with every single bone in their body. They ache for you as much as you ache for there them. There is the one, and then we are all one, but it's this particular one who is your one. This is the one for you, and you're the one for them. And there's no mistaking Why that. not focus on expanding your awareness on trusting, adoring, and loving, and allowing this person to trust, adore, and love you. Okay, I hope this video helps you guys. I just wanted to come on and share that. It was just a thought that I had. I hope you guys enjoyed your holiday today. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> Nothing can come, nothing can come between us.